Now we're ready to create our second form. So if we go back to um, Designer under Project Home and Design, um, for this next form, we're going to click Create, Add Instrument here, and we're going to call this one a Color Appreciation Scale. And click Create. And now for this form, instead of creating each um, item individually, field by field, uh, we're going to use the matrix of fields option. And this is really handy when um, we're trying to collect multiple data on multiple fields, but with the similar column choices. So something like um, a survey where you have options going from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Um, so in our matrix header text um, is some text at the top that basically describes our fields. So for this example, our matrix header, let's call it uh, my favorite color is and now for our field labels um, let's put down different colors so let's start with blue um, and for our variable name we'll call them all color underscore 001 we'll make this required um, and let's start listing off a bunch of different colors Red, yellow, and purple. Now for our choices, um, let's do strongly disagree disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. Uh, and we want only a single answer for all these. Um, for our matrix group name, let's group them all as colors, color, and click save. Um, so this is what our instrument looks like so far. Um, let's go back to our list of instruments or to the project setup page and let's continue adding more to this color appreciation scale. Uh, but instead of using the online designer, let's use the data dictionary. So to use the data dictionary, first we need to download the current data dictionary. Um, it downloads as a comma separated file. Um, we can open it up, up in Excel. Uh, and it basically has um, all of the variable names and the different types of field validation that we've entered into our project so far. Um, so now let's add some more, a few more colors to this data dictionary. Uh, how about three? Um, and so, yeah, they're all part of the same uh, form. And we want the radio button, so we can copy this to the rest of the fields. Uh, and let's select some different colors. So uh, we can do orange, silver, and pink. Um, and we also want to keep the choices, the required 
and the matrix group name the same between the three of them. So let's save this. And now let's go back to our the data dictionary. So now let's upload our data dictionary. So we'll go to choose file, click our data dictionary, hit open and upload. So now Recap is essentially analyzing our data dictionary for any errors. So say I had the wrong field type for this one case, for this one field. Um, instead of radio, I had text box, but I also have these options. Um, or anything else like that, Recap will um, scan it and let us know if there's any errors. And it looks like the upload was successful. So uh, once we're ready, we can click Commit Changes. Um, so now if we go back to the online designer and click on our color appreciation scale, um, you'll see that the extra colors that we added, orange, silver, and pink, are showing up. So that's great. Um, one other thing that I want to point out, the data dictionary is not additive. So what that means is that every time we want to change something and upload it, it needs to be uploaded in completion. We can't get rid of all of these old records uh, and then just upload the new stuff. Um, that'll erase all of what we've done so far and just upload these three fields. So it needs to be uploaded in completion each time. Every single new field, um, we will add it to the last uh, row. Also, because the data dictionary is just a CSV file, it makes sharing it between projects incredibly simple. All you need to do is download it from your own project, um, email it to uh, any collaborator who might also want to use the same dictionary, uh, and they can also go ahead and upload it to their own project.